What's up everybody, once again, my name is Ben, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. In the last episode, we took on World 2-4 Cannon Cluster, and this episode, we're taking on 2-5 Stormy Shore. Alright, let's get started with this. Stormy Shore, man, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, storms are kind of calming, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be talking about a maelstrom, and those storms are just vicious. They want to destroy you and everything about you, man. I am not looking forward to that. Although, I like how deceiving this level can be, because it looks all peaceful at first, but, uh, just wait till you get into the meat of this level, man. It is very, very vicious. Even in the background, you can see right there, there's like a giant squid-looking skull rock or something like that. It's an omen for the future, just trust me about that. Alright, so there's your first column there. You can't really miss that one. The puzzle piece, however, right up here, very, very easy to miss. There's also a secret right over here that's also easy to miss. You gotta, like, ground pound right down here. And, hey, you come to this, like, little secret area. Roll over to the right. And you're in the very first bonus room, which is kind of like a newish bonus room. There's no platforms or anything like that. You just sort of, like, jump up and collect everything. And these are actually some of, like, the trickiest bonus rooms, in my opinion. Because, like, the way that everything is laid out doesn't really make it easy for... Oh, no, I'm, I'm screwing this up. Doesn't really make it easy for just one person. Like, if you're playing co-op, th this room is a lot easier. Because then you can just, like, sort of split up between the two people. But, like, um, yeah, one player, it's not hard to get everything yourself, so I need to speed it up here. I am not gonna get this, am I? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, man, 2.7 seconds of spare. We still got it. Dang, that is cutting it close. Oh, well, we got it. That's the good, that's the important thing, at least. But that was very, very close. I'm not sure if they give you less time or more time if you're in cope, is what I was trying to say there. Anyways, I don't think we've missed anything else there. I think everything else that we need is after that checkpoint. So there's the O letter right there. And, oh, what's going on in the background? Holy crap, that squid is just destroying that stinking ship. Oh, man. I feel kind of bad for those guys. That Kraken just completely obliterated them. Now, if I remember correctly, there is one sort of secret that's actually right around the corner here I don't want to miss. It's in like a barrel. I know that much. Yes, it's this barrel right here. So what I'm trying to do is wait till it's pointing directly up and in that sort of crest and then launch yourself in the puzzle piece. Then you want to make sure that you shoot yourself back on dry land and not screw that up and land into the ocean. That is just... It's, it could be a tricky barrel. You can screw that up pretty easily, I think. I'm not sure if it's like an auto barrel either, so there might be some leniency with it, I'm sure. But just be careful. Also, over here, don't stand still for too long, because I'm pretty sure the tentacles from the Kraken will actually uh, hit you if you stand still for too long. So just keep that in mind. I'm not willing to test that theory, though. Oh, man, jeez. All right, dude, come on. I've, I've done nothing wrong to you. I let you destroy the ship in the background. Didn't even care. Like, I don't even know those people. You could kill them and destroy them for all I care. I don't know why you're trying to kill me, though. Like, you and I are both animals, dude. We should be friends. We just team up, take over the world. Sounds like a good idea to me. And hey, all five puzzle pieces already. Sweet. All right, now we just got to worry about getting that last calling letter. And we'll be good to go. Although, this Kraken is very, very tricky. I do not like it. Oh, no, Donkey. Please do not let go of the grass. This is not the area you want to do that. Alright, let's just go around here, avoiding everybody and everything. And another banana coin, that's really nice. Okay, now we just gotta be a little bit careful as we're going through here, just run really, really quick. Oh no. Dang it, I knew that was there, and I still ran into it. I'm an idiot. Oh well. We'll just be really, really careful from now on. I don't want to lose Ziddy here, because he will be really, really important for making some, some jumps later on, especially getting the last... Uh, G. I know where the G is, and it's really, really hard to get if you don't have Diddy, or if you miss bouncing off some enemies, so you can kind of, like, screw yourself out of it almost. It's actually right here. So what you want to do is, like, roll jump, then you want to, like, bounce off these guys, and then hopefully you can grab the G with Diddy's, like, uh, little jetpack and stuff like that. So, now that I've got everything, all we need to do is make it to the end of this level. Alright, where is this going to lead us? Right to the end. There we go. Dang. Oh, man. That level was tricky. I do not like that Kraken at all. And we get a strawberry again. Yay! And shut up, game. Stop telling me what to do with my life. Goodness gracious. Every single time I beat like two levels in a row, that stupid message comes up. Oh, well, no. With that level done, that's going to do it for this episode. So once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.